Welcome everyone back to another episode of Le Plata, where we are in two wars, one against Peru and one against Venezuela. Well, I'm just waiting for the French to be like, okay, you know, maybe we should give them um, Venezuela as a puppet. Because, I mean, that may be what they want in this war. I mean, they may not even be looking at Brazil. Yeah. I'm waiting for the AI to think that so that I can end this war. But until they think that, which I'm probably thinking they're not going to do it until like the very end of it. We're just basically going to have to wait. That's that's the that's the most I really don't have I don't have any fancy thing to like get them to understand what I want but see France is just gonna keep offering me this and it's gonna be like uh, you idiots eventually they're gonna have a I'm, I'm having a feeling that eventually somebody's going to declare war on them while this is all happening and they're gonna be like oh my goodness please get us out of this war I'm gonna be like just accept my peace and I'll get out of this war trust me I don't want I don't want any more in this war than you do. Oh, and you guys go right here. And as you guys can see, the Peruvian conquest is uh, more of a joke than anything. Because I'm just like, I'm, I'm nailing them. I'm I'm not even like slowing down the speeds of any sides. Just boom, boom, boom. Annexation. Instantly, let's see, is there actually an army over here? Yes, there's some more French armies. And the more French armies they send over here, that basically just gives us more and more ammo and let's see this is eventually just going to cap out and it's just going to give us a lot of stuff let's see we're sieging up all this and it's just going to go down here stop right here yes yeah Peru is like literally like oh my goodness oh my goodness they must be freaking out right about now because there's absolutely nothing they could do to stop me I have a bigger army than they do and I'm not afraid to use it <laughs> oh my goodness I'm really not afraid to use my hobby right now. Like, this is... This must be tortured for them because they absolutely can't do anything to stop me. Like, nothing. I basically have them cornered. And, like... Because, look, I even got... I even do got them cornered. All my troops are around the lands. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. This is not going to end well for them. Let's see. France up there. Probably can do some damage, but... Uh... For the most part, yeah, I'm almost thinking that this war won't end until I like do some more war score, but eh. I'm right now getting one of my, this is not a completely unprogressive war, because I am getting one of my uh, vassals in place, which is what I needed to do a while back, and let's see, got them, let's go, let's see, the only army they have is right there. So we can destroy it, which it should be pretty easy because we have gas attacks. Gas attacks should give us the ultimate advantage, yep. Nine rolls, this is going to be violent elections. Ooh, this is not, this is this is very tempting. I think this is what happened last time is that we had this major revolt. And I said, let it play its course. And eventually, that's I think that's why the uh, rebels took over last time. It was because, well not rebels, the uh, communists took over. It was because I said that. Something we don't want to do this time. I'm definitely making sure we don't do it this time. Okay. And let's see. The last little bits of the Peruvian army are being defeated as we speak. Let's see. Uh, I guess support the communists. I, I'm not quite sure who's going to win this election. Because, like, everyone is literally angering, I guess. Let's see right there. Ah, and I believe these guys are basically done. Let's see. Yeah. Peru, are you guys about done? You guys are... Nah, they're gonna fight me. Peru's gonna be one of those nations, very individualistic, gonna fight me to the very last breath. It's gonna be nice, but it's gonna be really annoying too. Let's see. Over here, I'm hoping that a 34k can defeat those guys. And any other troops I have to deal with? No. Still don't have any major fights. Except some French troops over there, but... They're probably not going to be much help. And let's see. Let's see. You guys are moving right there. You guys are moving right there. Yeah, I basically have this all pictured out to siege. You guys are going to give me... No. How do you guys not realize what I want by now? President. Wait. Wait, wait. Wait. Is Poland alive? No. Poland is not alive. Is America alive? Yes, they are. Okay. I don't know what quite happened there, but something weird just happened. Okay, we crossed them. And let's see. 
mechanized mining, pro military. Yes, give me all these things. Jindoism. And let's go right here. Go conquer that last little bit. Oh man. Peru, man, Peru. You just got majorly blitzkrieged. I mean, there was absolutely nothing you guys could have done about this. Oh my goodness. Uh, pro military. Yeah. And there we go. Let's see. You guys about done. Nah, they're gonna. They're definitely, like I said, they're definitely gonna fight me all the way to the end. Which I would expect no less. And we're just gonna finish up with Peru. Finally add these guys to our sphere. Oh my goodness. It feels like, it feels like I could just end this war right now. And then come back to it. At a later date. Yeah. Yeah, you know what, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm getting, I'm getting kinda tired of fighting France. So, we're just gonna end it, plus... Chile should be in on this war. Oh, shoot. They didn't want to form an alliance with me. Whoops. Yeah, that was my fault. Sorry, sorry, Chile. I didn't mean for you guys to hate me. And Peru. There we go. Yeah. Okay. There we go. There we go. Go send, start sending our armies all the way out of here. And everyone, look at that lovely Le Plata symbol. <laughs> Oh man, that looks glorious, man. That looks glorious. All right, in Ecuador, we almost have enough influence, so now we're going to decrease it with America. Cordial. Let's see. Oh man, they have an alliance with America. Rats. That's something I did not expect. All right, and now it's time to gauge these guys to about seventy-four percent. Seventy-four, seventy-four percent. I'm gonna get to try to get seventy. 70, can I push for 70? Yes, I can. And let's see. Let's see, what's really costing us right now? A lot of things, because right now we're covering for war. But there we go, everyone. We just fought through a major war. Just had, like, major expansion. Finally conquered Peru. Oh, my goodness, that was... Let the riots play... Send in the army. Oh, uh, damn it. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, the sword is spinning fast and better. Uh, oh no no I I don't know I don't know because I don't I don't want to have what happened last time I definitely don't want to. Uh, uh, I recommend military force be brought into capital restore though doing so will continue. Uh, I'm worried I'm worried so much right now. Let's hope that doesn't please tell me it doesn't make us a communist state. I I seriously don't want to become a communist state again. Oh good, we made it through it. We made it through the elections. Oh good. Okay. Also, apparently this is costing us money, so I'm going to collapse this. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to start collapsing some of these factories that are costing us over 100. Printing press and Sao Paulo is costing us a lot. Uh, Sao Paulo. Oh wow, you had a complete economic collapse. We could probably support one factory. Uh... Uh, San Paulo. Oh, wait, there it was. There it was. I saw it. I saw it. There it is. Yes, you. Collapse this so that other employees can go somewhere else. Yeah, look at that. My economy is going a little bit higher. Yay! Okay. And let's go to 65. 65. 65. There we go. And we're back to being in all happy states and everyone's good and lush and yay! Okay. So, anyways, we have to wait at least another five years before we can declare war on Brazil. And then once we declare war on Brazil, we'll take our last little bits of it right there. And, yeah, maybe we'll take a little bit more of Brazil, too. Even though they are technically being speared by the uh, French, they're really not going to be that much of a threat to us still. Oh, my goodness. And now we have to look w eastward into the Chinese Empire. <sighs> okay. I think the way I'm going to get into the Chinese Empire is by using the Philippines. I'm going to use the Philippines as a base of operations, and then from there what I'm going to do is have America be my main competition. Why in the world is it always America? Like, seriously? Why the heck is it always America? Unless, by chance, the Philippines will just let me have military access for random reasons. Uh, let's increase our relationship with these guys. 
and yeah, because we need to get we need to get access to somebody over here so we can have good um, fleet basing rights over here. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Japan hates us enough to where they're never gonna give it. Korea hates us enough where they're never gonna give it. So most likely our candidate is to just go in and take it for ourselves. So it sounds about what we usually do. So sure of the job. That's good. Yes, we shall. We shall attend the Olympics. Mm hmm. I, I agree. I agree. We should attend the Olympics. And let's see. Ooh, we have guards now. Okay, I'm gonna build five South American guards. I don't even care where they're built. We just need to build five South American guards so I can start reorganizing my army. And we can start doing stuff. And yes. Let's see. You know, actually, if the Philippines just like us enough just so that we can, like, get this military access, that's all I would really need. The problem is that I don't think they're going to let us just willy-nilly get it, if you know what I mean. So... We have to use less than desirable means. I'm also really mad about this, too, which is that America is literally allied with these guys, which means I can't exactly take them at all. Which, you know, maybe Ecuador should be one of those nations that gets the free slot just like Chile does. Because, uh, I honestly don't want to figure out a diplomatic way to try to make the Americans not have an alliance with them, so... Yeah, let's just, you know what, I'm just gonna vas- I'm just gonna make these guys, like, uh, just above a vassal, Ecuador. And, we'll just go from there, okay? Cause, maybe they're- maybe they're just not worth it, like, in terms of- in terms of power, and in terms of, like, you know, population and stuff, they're just not worth it being, like, a sub-vassal of mine. So, we'll just conquer them, make it much easier for us, yeah. And let's see, we have our armies spread out around the world, do we? Well, you guys need to find a good supply limit. You actually just literally right there. Go right there. Go supply yourselves. Also, start upgrading our forts here. And let's see. You, Brazil, are now officially underneath the French flag and banner. But... It doesn't... Brazil, that's not a good thing. Because I'm still going to go kick you... I'm going to kick you down whenever I want to. Trust me. Just because you have the protection of the French... It was proven pretty clearly that I'll beat the French in almost anything they do. So, allied with the Brazilians, the Turkians, and Switzerland. Switzerland. And we're just casually chilling out here as ourselves. I mean, we have a ton of money now. So we could probably start upgrading some of our factories. Let's look at our most industrialized places and start upgrading them. Because this is, especially the places that support, um... Factory and support uh, immigrants. We definitely want to make sure we have tons and tons of room for more and more immigrants because I'll just encourage, encourage, and encourage immigrants to be like, We should keep coming here. And I'll be like, Yeah, you should keep coming here. And they'll be like, Yay! And so that's the way the cycle goes. And I just, my immigrants, wow. I have so many immigrants in my country. It's literally surreal now. Let's see, just keep getting. Keep going down this tree, and, oh man, I definitely want to go to war right now. Definitely want to go to war against the Qing Empire, and steal some more land from them, so that we can start, we can start doing more colonial conquests, now that Africa's been a little bit denied to us. Yeah, I think it's been a little bit denied, just because of reasons. Although, I do love how Africa turned out, I mean, we still got Ethiopia, wow, Ethiopia's still kicking! <laughs> Ethiopia is still kicking, even though... <laughs> oh, man. Ethiopia, guys. Dude, you guys deserve a medal, because even in this timeline, you guys survived. That's cool. That's really cool, actually. They survived even to this day. All right. So, Ethiopia, uh, Ecuador is going to join the status of just being a good vassal, which means, as you guys can see, we basically have almost all of South America underneath our control, except for this big glaring problem over here Brazil. But then again, like I said, they're kind of my national whipping bat, whipping boys, so it kind of doesn't make sense for them to be like, oh, I don't really need military sick complex. For 30 prestige, no, because our prestige is apparently on the line right now. I didn't know, realize our prestige was on the line. Uh, yeah. Let's see. We're also building more troops right now, which is going to cost us. And let's see, we got 15 guards right here. Let's see. Let's go send, okay, let's go send two guards, let's see, one, 
two, three, four. We have four armies. All right, so we could probably go send, probably go send two guards to the biggest army. Uh, okay, and then divide this up. Balance. No, divide this up. One. Okay, and then divide this up. There we go. All right. Then go send like a guard right over here. Then go send a uh, guard like over here. Then go send a guard like over here. Okay. And we also need to build up the rest of this troop. So we need cannons. That's definitely something we need. Alright, cannons. Oh, sure. Let's build them in Africa. Build like five cannons. That's about as much as we need. Uh, have them all group up like... Do we have a, group, a meeting place for right over here? I thought we did. We don't. So, meet right here. Let's make sure. Yes, there are no meeting places. Just meet right there. And I'll have my uh, steamer transports go pick them up. Okay. Boom. Steamer transports. Let's see. Yeah, you guys go over there. Steamer transports. You guys go over here. And yes. I am making a ton of money. Hmm. That means decreased taxes. Yeah. Decreasing taxes is like the greatest thing ever. Even though it really haunts me in the end, but still I love decreasing taxes. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So we're not again. We're, I don't really care if we're not going to be making too much money off of these things. Uh, our economy is doing great. I mean, we're really... Wow, there's a lot... I only have like six plantations... I only have like six colonies over here. How are we not making good money off of them? Uh, we need to enact more composite education policy. Uh, I believe the resources could be better used elsewhere. No! Get those people educated! The education will help us out in the future better because then we get... Because then we get better, like, you know, industry, we get better, like, you know, prestige. That, that seems like such a short, a short-sighted thing. Gosh. Okay. Sure, let's do this. Good standards. Again, pollution. Moving down. Everyone is really... Uh, the more people we get out of the uh, hateful group, the more people will be like, yeah, we kind of like our government, which is what we kind of need. We need people to just keep loving our government and loving it for what it is. And now look how much we own. <laughs> we own basically all of South America. Oh my goodness, America must be so mad right now. We basically have reverse manifest destiny, everything, and we became over here. Although America apparently has access over here. By the way, America, are we friends still? Yes, we are. Yeah, America apparently won all these races, even beating out the Japanese. Wow, I'm, I'm really, I'm really quite surprised, America. You guys are being one of the most aggressive people I've ever seen in my life. Kudos to you. <laughs> uh, they also will accept military access, which is actually good because then we actually get closer bases, which means we could probably go send in, uh, two armies to go down there to go deal with the Chinese now. Hmm. Yeah, we could probably go do that. Ecuador, you want an alliance? Sure. Shaft mining, yay! More resources that we get. Yay! Okay, so let's go start sending our troops to our little bases over here in uh, in the Pacific. Let's see. We could probably... I'm hoping it... We can see. The closest thing we could get is probably right here. But we get a little spot right here to then just go off in. British Australia! I don't think this is British Australia anymore. The fact that the Australians have broken away generally means that they're going to become a great power. Which is scary that's very scary and yeah we're just gonna start transferring all that let's see over here looks like we're done with all these people transfer them all the way on these boats oh did I send the clippers dang it okay go all the way over here wait okay that's a weird way to go go right here go right there let's see where can I send you guys right here literally a little bit across the ways more in the jungle and there we go. Our troops are looking quite nice. We're going to go invade China now just to make sure that we have our good population boost. Let's see, militaristic dictatorium. And with our advancements in technology, and since the Qing Empire have still not industrialized, which is a good thing.
because otherwise we'd have difficulties. I would not deny that. Good health care. Yes, sir. We could get good health care. I want to thank you guys for watching. We, we have been having a great time here as La Plata. And I want to thank you guys for being here to love and support the series. It's always fun to look and it's always fun to look at you guys' comments. And I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.